Okay, here's how to create comic book panels in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to Photoshop, go File and New. I'm going to call it Comic Panels. And I want 11 inches wide, 17 inches tall, resolution 200, color mode RGB, and background contents white. And I'm going to say OK. And here's my document. First thing I want to do is make a new layer. And I say OK. Then I simply take the marquee tool, which is right here, rectangular marquee tool, click and drag this out, and make a panel. Now I go to Edit and Stroke Zeros, that makes black, or solid black. Make sure the location inside, but you can be center outside, but you know, just location inside. Mode normal, make sure it's 100% transparent or opaque, opaque, and say OK, and I've got a little border on my panel. Now I go to Select and Deselect. Now I'm going to go through the process of making a bunch of panels. So I'm going to take this one, put it in position. I'm going to duplicate my panel. And instead of panel 1, copy, I'm going to call this panel 2. And OK. And now what i got is two panels. So I pull this one over like this. And then if I want to adjust my panels, I can go up here to Edit, Transform, and Scale. And this allows me to get some handles onto my panel. And I can push this up. Oops. I can push. I should be able to push this up. There we go. I can push this up. And I can pull this over to make it a little more even. And double click. And, and I just realized I don't need to keep naming the panels. You can, but I'm going to do something different. And then I make a new panel. I pull this panel down, and again, I go to Edit and Transform, or I can hold the Command key down, and hit T, and it gives me Auto Transform. And double click that. And then in succession, I'm just going to keep duplicating panels or layers and pull this one down and go Command T and make it a little wider. Whoops. I keep messing up on that. There we go. And then I'm going to double click. Then I'm going to duplicate this panel by right clicking and getting panel 1. And I'm going to duplicate panel 1. And I'm going to drag panel 1 down here. And it goes off my screen a little bit. So I go Command T. And I push this up. Double click. And then I'm going to duplicate this last panel. And pull it over like so. And Command T. Pull that over. And there's my panels. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hold, click on the very top panel, hold the shift key down, click on the very bottom panel, but not on the background. And then I'm going to merge the layers like so. So now all my panels are on one layer like that. And I'm going to save my work, go File, Save. Let's call it Comic Panels PSD for now. Now I'm ready to put in my first comic. So I go to my Magic Wand tool, click on that, and making sure I'm on the panel copy, I click inside this first box, and you'll notice it just um, selects inside that first panel. So now I'm going to go to my, I have a cartoon page ready, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take my uh, cropping tool, I'm going to crop this a little outside. Actually, I forgot I have some numbers up here already. Let me change those to nothing so these are all blank up here. Then I'm going to crop my 
panel a little wider than it needs to be. And then I'm going to crop it like this. Then I'm going to go select all and go edit copy. Then I go back to my panel. Oops. And then I go edit paste into. Now my picture is a little bigger than my panel, so I'm going to right click uh, this and then I'm going to go Command T and see how my picture is way out here. I'm going to go out to the corner, holding the shift key down to keep it in perspective. I'm going to push my panel up here like this. And I'm going to center it. Double click. And there's my first comic panel. Now, here's how you do the um, like voice balloons. So I'm going to have this girl saying, I'm so hungry for lunch or something like that. So I go down here to this tool, go to Custom Shape Tools, go up here to Shapes, and notice I don't have that many shapes here, but if I click on this little button right here, I can go to All and Append All Shapes. Now I've got a whole bunch of shapes in here. And down toward the bottom somewhere here, ah, oh, there they are, are the um, thought things, are the comic um, bubbles. So I want to make sure I make a new layer when I do this, like that. Actually, it should have it so it's filled in, so let me do it again here. And got black in there, I want it, um, I want white, so I'm going to switch these one more time. There's my comic bubble. And now I can take and right click this, move it into position. Then I take the text tool and I click inside the bubble. And I type. <laughs> and again, I'm going to change it back to black. I typed, I am so hungry. I'm going to pull this out. I can get the little thing to cooperate. And naturally, since I'm trying to do this, I can't. I'll just make this a little smaller for now. Finally got it. There we go. All right, I'll have to work on that a little bit to get it um, where I want it. I can't seem to get it to cooperate with me. Now I got it. There we go. Now I can move it back into position. And I can make it a little bit bigger. Oops. I'll double click on the T here and now holding the command shift and go greater than. I can make it a little bigger like that and put the position. So, so anyway, that's how you make a comic bomb panel.